It has been scientifically proven that ergonomics can actually reduce the risk of some types of injuries. These injuries are called work-related musculoskeletal disorders, or WMSDs. There are many things that everyone does on the job and at home that could contribute to WMSD if they are done for long enough periods of time. Risk factors include working in awkward postures, using high hand force, performing repetitive motions, using your hand or knee to make repeated impacts, heavy, frequent or awkward lifting, and exposure to moderate to high levels of vibration. Just because your job has risk factors doesn't mean that you're going to have a WMSD though. In fact, a little bit of exposure to some risk factors can actually be good for you. Occasionally moving into awkward postures like reaching or bending will help to stretch and exercise your muscles. Whether or not a risk factor will result in a WMSD depends on the duration, the frequency, and the intensity of whatever it is you are doing. How long, how often, and how much. The longer you're exposed to risk factors, and here we're talking about hours per day, not just minutes, the more likely an injury will occur. You are also more likely to be injured if you have more than one risk factor at the same time. Now, let's take a closer look at each risk factor. Awkward postures. To understand what an awkward posture is, it helps to understand the opposite. Good posture. A good posture is one that places the least amount of stress on your joints and muscles. This is referred to as neutral posture. It takes the strain out of your muscles and joints, allowing them to work more efficiently. While neutral posture places the least stress on your body, it wouldn't be good for you to stay in that position all day. Your body was designed to move around and is much happier when it is active. Some parts of your job may require you to move into or maintain postures that aren't neutral. They include things like working with your hands over your head or your elbows above your shoulders. Repeatedly moving in and out of this posture could lead to a shoulder or elbow WMSD. Holding your arms up overhead without bringing them down can also cause problems. Working with your neck bent forward too far can place strain on your neck muscles, especially if you hold this position for a long period of time. Your head can weigh as much as a bowling ball, and that's a lot of weight for your neck muscles to hold up. Over time, the muscles in your neck and shoulders can tighten up, resulting in chronic muscle soreness. Similarly, working while bent over places a lot of strain on the muscles of your back. The weight of your upper body is a lot for those muscles to hold up, especially since they were intended to hold you in an upright position. Bending over like this also increases the pressure on the discs of your spine. Squatting is a good alternative to bending at the waist, but only for short periods of time. If you squat for too long, it builds up the pressure behind the kneecap, and it can cause damage to the knee. Kneeling is another way to get down low, but it also causes pressure to build up behind the kneecap. Working with your wrist bent in any of these directions, backward, forward, or sideways, can also be a problem. However, bent wrists are only really a risk for injury when combined with high hand forces or repetitive motions. But 